Hello friends, this video on microorganisms, friend and foe, part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us look at how microbes are so good as decomposers. So just now I touched upon the decomposers saying that they help to decompose the dead and decaying matter. So let us see how exactly they do it and which are the microbes which act as decomposers. So what is decomposition? Composition means formation. Now we often say, right, this is composed of this and this. That means this is made up of. So composition is always about making something. Decomposition is just the opposite of that. That means breaking something. So this is the process in which complex organic matter are broken down into simpler forms. So what is this complex organic matter? The complex organic matter is nothing but the dead remains of plants and animals. So that is the, because they are all organic, they are carbon containing substances. So that complex organic matter will be broken down into simpler forms. Simpler forms could be inorganic materials maybe nitrogen phosphorus which act as nutrients for the plant so it could be inorganic nutrients or it could be inorganic substances like nitrogen gas which is released back to the atmosphere so basically complex organic matter are converted into simple inorganic substances so the sub organisms which help in this process of breakdown they are called decomposers so the names have to match organisms which help in decomposition has to be decomposers so bacteria and fungi are the important decomposers so basically only these two classes of microorganisms they act as decomposers so in a way we can say that these decomposers help us to clean the earth had, the, had these decomposers not been there, in that case, the dead plants and dead animals would have just accumulated on earth because there would have been nothing else who could have broken down the organic matter into these inorganic substances. And these inorganic substances eventually get utilized by the plants. So they help environment to get rid of dead and decaying matter, as I said just now. Otherwise, uh, half or more than half of the earth would have been dumped just by dead bodies enrich the soil quality because it converts it into inorganic substances like nitrogen which definitely improves the quality of the soil and also its fertility. So the process is really simple. Complex things are being broken down into simpler forms. So the picture itself speaks for itself. You have something very complex made up of a lot of things. You break it down into simple forms. And these simple forms can then be utilized by some or the other organism existing on the earth. So it is not causing any sort of environmental pollution in any way. And who helps us in doing that? Bacteria and fungi. So end of the day, they are again the microbes. So see, by now we have actually seen microbes doing so many good things for us, for our environment. So we cannot say that microbes can only cause disease and only cause harm to us. So there are so many friendly microbes as well. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.